Our six-year impact assessment found a relatively small area around the desalination plant that was largely being affected by changes to flow. There is a rapid expansion in desalination plants happening right now around the globe and we know that very shortly about 3 billion people will be facing critical water shortages across 48 different countries. So people will be increasingly turning to desalination. So a desalination plant draws in very large volumes of ocean water and then through quite complicated and high-tech membrane technology, the salt is extracted. And when the salt is extracted, the fresh water is pumped to people, but the very saline brine that's left over is pumped back out into the ocean. This was a really challenging study. It took place at six locations along the New South Wales coast, and that was at 25 metres depth. So commercial divers were working with the team to rigorously study the potential impact of this plant, both during construction, while it was operating, and then when it was switched off and became idle. That allowed us to determine the impacts post-construction and also the potential recovery of the marine ecology of the system. But what we do know now, after our first really comprehensive ecological impact assessment, is our concerns around the impact on the ocean environment are really mitigated. They're much smaller than we thought the impact might be. Are males really better at science and technology than females? We know there are more men than women in STEM jobs. That's science, technology, engineering and mathematics. In the past, some people have thought that this is because men are simply a lot more capable in these fields. But a new study throws all that out the window. For STEM subjects, the study found only small differences in variation, so that the top 10% of a class should have almost identical numbers of girls and boys. So if there's little difference in capabilities, gender-wise, why aren't there more women in STEM? The reasons for this are complex, but what we do know for sure is that the world needs more women in STEM.